Memory leaks in Angular can cause your application to be slow and janky and can just result in some very obscure problems to debug. And in all my years working with Angular, there's been one case that comes up again and again that results in memory leaks. And that's forgetting to unsubscribe to long-lived observables and events. The good news is, once you know what to look for, it's very easy to spot and fix these mistakes. A memory leak in JavaScript is caused when you allocate a chunk of memory, but you're keeping a reference to that memory by accident that is preventing the garbage collector from eventually cleaning it up. In Angular, the number one cause I see is that there is a reference being kept to a component or a directive because that component subscribed to something that's long lived beyond the life of that component. So that could be a component subscribing to an RxJS observable. It could be subscribing to an NGRx store, or perhaps you're subscribing to a reactive database like Firebase. Those are all cases where that observable is gonna live well beyond the life of your component. Let's take a look to see how this would look in practice. Let's say we're working on an application where we wanna support a user logging in and out. We might wrap this in a user service where we're representing the logged in user as a behavior subject. Elsewhere in the application, other components or pages are subscribing to this behavior subject to show the currently logged in user. Now, believe it or not, we've already caused a memory leak. To understand what's going on here, it can be helpful to think of the memory references involved. Angular has a reference to your component. However, there is still another reference that's kept in place, which is via that subscription. The behavior subject has a list of subscribers, which is your callback function, and your callback function keeps a reference to your component. As a result, when the user navigates away from this page, Angular's reference to the component is going to be destroyed, but the behavior subject's reference is still going to be around. The good news is, is that once you know what to look for, it's very easy to spot this type of bug and to fix it. There are three techniques I like to use. The first is that when you subscribe to an RxJS observable, it will return a subscription. And you can use this to unsubscribe on your component's undestroyed lifecycle hook. The second approach is to skip subscribing altogether and instead use the async pipe to subscribe to the observable. The third approach is my favorite, and this is combining a replay subject with a take until pipe. So the idea is that we have a replay subject on the component that will omit once when the component is about to be destroyed. And anytime we're about to subscribe to something in that component, we can use take until as an operator that will cause that subscription to be torn down automatically when that signal has been emitted that the component is being torn down. It just removes all that boilerplate of keeping track of all these subscriptions manually. Anytime you subscribe within a component, you should be mentally thinking about whether or not you're going to cause a memory leak. And that will happen anytime you subscribe to something that is going to live longer than your component. And when you are, those are those three techniques you can use. Manually unsubscribe, use an async pipe in your template, or use the take until operator when you subscribe. I hope this was helpful. And if there's anything else you'd like to learn about Angular, feel free to leave a comment below.